Mr. Britannia Vinita Bali speaking. Let's get across. Profit from operations increase of uh, almost 45 percent. Our operating margin for the business has gone up by 120 basis points. Um, and what we've got is, uh, you know, a business which is uh, well on track uh, for the beginning of this year. I think the three things that we've emphasized continue and the three drivers or the three priorities of our business really are a focus on how we manage revenue, which includes the quality of our mix uh, in terms of pricing, in terms of packaging, in terms of brand mix as well as geographic mix. The second thing is uh, cost management, which is everything that we are doing from the everyday operational efficiency in our business to special programs that we've got on continuous improvement or enhancement in operational excellence. And that is a large program that we have in the company which spans about 380 projects that you must have read in the chairman's address. Uh, so that really is a focus on cost management. But we look at cost management from the point of view of what is effective and what is efficient. And that covers the entire value chain of the company from how we design our products to how we make them, where we make them, how we transport them, where they get stored, of what is effective and what is efficient. And that covers the entire value chain of the company from how we design our products to how we make them, where we make them, how we transport them, where they get stored, uh, the AW strategy that we have to go to market, etc. So it covers everything from design to delivery. And the third key plank of our strategy is uh, the focus on innovation. As a result of that, if you look behind you, you will see some of our more recent introductions. So if we were to look at last year, in fact, the contribution of innovative products increased in the bakery portfolio to about 10% of uh, revenue and in the dairy portfolio to about 14% of revenue. And the whole concept of our innovation is really two things. How do we actually get new taste experiences to market? Which is why you've seen the extension of brands that we've created like NutriChoice from a sweet biscuit to savory snacks in the form of NutriChoice Thins or NutriChoice Roasty. We've taken another big brand of ours called 5050 and gone into the bag snack route which is uh, snack it's 5050 snack it's which is you know, really a combo of a snack which is also a biscuit or a biscuit which is also a snack. We have similarly taken our cream portfolio. So whether it is bourbon, we've introduced a bourbon cappuccino because the target audience for bourbon is really young adults and teens and you know the whole concept of coffee and chocolate is a big one. We have also under Pure Magic introduced some magical new uh, flavors uh, and then as far as the kids range is concerned, treat. We've actually got a very special recipe of the cream. I don't know how many of you have tried the product, but if you haven't, I would really encourage you to try it with your tea or coffee. 